Hello everybody. I am going to do my first fire alarm video in which I show you my ceiling mounted white wheel lock AS. This is the first and so far only fire alarm appliance that I have owned and I got it off of Amazon back in September 2014. Now the AS is a simple horn strobe and AS stands for audible strobe I think. This is a two wire version it looks like and once again it's meant to be mounted on a ceiling instead of a wall like most signaling appliances. But it has a strobe of 100 candela, it's not adjustable, and it has two code settings, continuous and code 3 horn, as well as three volume settings, low, medium, and high. The jumpers on the back of the alarm here are used to adjust the code and volume settings. The jumper on the right, which I just removed, is used for the volume, and I believe that Having the jumper all the way to the left is puts the alarm on low volume. In the middle, puts it on medium, and then on the right on high. I'm just going to leave it on high vo low volume. And then the jumper on the left is used for the code setting. With the jumper in, the alarm will be on code 3 horn, but if I remove it, it will be on continuous horn. I am going to demonstrate both tone tones on this alarm and now what's very unique is that because I don't have a permanent power source for this alarm I made a temporary one using snap circuits battery holders and an AC adapter to equivalent to 24 volts DC because that's the voltage that most appliances I think operate on including this horn strobe and so I am going to hook it up to this power supply so that I can do the demonstration. Now here are a few disclaimers. Number one, this demonstration is being done in a controlled environment and so no fire departments will be notified when I sound the alarm. And do not ever pull an alarm in a public building when there is no fire or emergency because that's a felony and you could get in serious trouble for that, not to mention that you're endangering the safety of yourself and others. Number two, this alarm has a flashing strobe light and do not watch this part the demonstration if you have epilepsy or if you think you might have an adverse health effect to flashing lights such as seizures. And thirdly, even though the alarm I think will be on low volume, please turn down your volume because it may still be loud, especially if you're wearing headphones. I cannot be responsible for any legal or medical damages done due to your decisions. Now with that said, sit back and get ready. All right, I got the alarm hooked up, but I forgot to say, say this. I do not recommend that you try to you make your own power source for devices like these because if you wire it up incorrectly or use too much voltage, this might result in electric shock, personal injury, or death, or damage to your parts or property. And I cannot be responsible for your actions. Adult supervision is encouraged, but... I am not responsible in any way for anything that might go wrong. And adult permission is recommended as well. But with that said, I am going to sound the alarm. It's going to be on low volume code 3. Here we go. That's pretty loud, even on low volume.
All right, now the alarm is going to be on low volume continuous. I removed the left jumper, so now it's going to produce a steady tone. With that said, thank you very much for watching this demonstration of my ceiling mounted Wheelock AS.